How's it going everybody? My name is Dalton. Welcome back to another episode of Garage 99. In today's video, we got a few things for you. Nothing too crazy, but hopefully it'll keep you entertained. Appreciate you guys clicking on today's video. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications, drop a like down below, and leave a comment if you want to see something else on this channel. But on that note, we're going to get right to it. We got a couple things with this guy and some stuff maybe in the future for this one really soon, but we do have something very small for it today. So we do have a couple of new stickers. We got some Sparkos to go down to the bottom with the sponsors and the bottom of the door over there. And then we gotta keep turning those gears because you know how we do it. If we're not moving, we're just not existing. You know what I mean? So you gotta keep turning those gears, guys. Just a friendly reminder, I'm gonna put it in the back of the Miata. And then we have a light bar mount for the go-kart. We got a fire extinguisher for that or for the Miata. I'm not really sure which one it's gonna be for quite yet. And then we've got our new wiring harness for the light bar. We're gonna run that maybe today. We don't have a light bar yet. And then we've got our new harnesses, Tanaka harnesses. These aren't the greatest things in the world, but I figured it's a Chinese go-kart. You might as well put some Chinese parts on it, right? We're gonna go ahead and do a few of those. As you can see, we're currently in the middle of trying to fix the spindles. So we're not gonna be driving this thing today. Although I probably should run it. It hasn't been ran in a little while. So maybe I should run it. Here's a cold start on a Chinese go-kart. I know people always say that. So I'm gonna let that idle for a second. I'm gonna open this garage so we can get a little more airflow in here. So wish I could drive this thing today. I miss driving it. It's a lot of fun. While we're letting that thing warm up, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the harnesses and we'll see how easy this install is going to be. I think it's going to be pretty easy. All right, looks like they gave us some stickers as well and some hardware for both sides. I'm not sure if I can use these. I'm going to look for some nuts over here and see if we have something on a comparable size. Hopefully we do. If it's like a generic nut and we can use pretty much anything in that rough size, it should be all right. All right, so I couldn't really find anything, but we have tons of hardware in our old Miata bin. I'll just find a bunch of nuts and bolts in there. I'll still use the lock washers that are in the hardware that came with it. And uh, yeah, we'll just start putting stuff together. Shouldn't be too difficult. We've got these all laid out how they're supposed to be. Put the driver's side, or actually, since it's not against the wall, we'll do the passenger side first and uh, we'll do a time lapse for you. Okay, so we got all the bottom straps on. Now we have to do the shoulder straps. Now with a shoulder strap, you want to grab about the same height as to where your body is or lower. You don't wanna grab higher because that's gonna allow you, if this thing does flip over, you're gonna slack up. So we're gonna have to wrap around the silver bar right here. But the thing is, if it doesn't, if it comes with a closed loop system like this one is, like you don't wanna like mount it somewhere goofy down there. So we're gonna use the bar. And same thing like I do on my other vehicles, we're gonna have to cut this loop out here and reweave this around the bar and back into this buckle. I'm telling you, it's okay to do this, trust me. If you weave it through the right way, it'll be strong enough and it'll do the job it's supposed to do. Once you cut this loop off, which it's gonna be woven in through the bottom one and held onto it. You wanna pull it out, pull the shackle off because you don't need this anymore. And then, so you want to go under the bar, have this shackle sitting in front of the bar, and you're gonna go back through the bar, weave this section through here. Hopefully it'll fit. If it doesn't, we can cut off that thick braided part a little bit. Looks like it's gonna fit, no problem. It actually will fit if I, if I throw it through like that. Okay, so now we have this, and that is gonna produce our strength. But we want this to be around our shoulders because this is about where it's gonna provide our shoulder support without beating into our shoulders. Okay, so remember what I was saying before where you don't want it to be above where your shoulders are? I'm pretty tall. That's actually gonna be below where my shoulders are if I use this top bar right here. So we are gonna go ahead and at least loop through that bar and attach down below. Okay, so this is actually gonna work very well. Feels like it'll hold me really nice and tight. So when you do have this fraying, you can actually just take a lighter to it. That way you won't have any fraying when it comes to actually using it. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with this side. We're gonna go ahead and cut the same spot with our shears. By the way, I tried using end cutters, scissors, and a razor. Nothing works like trauma shears. Oh, 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 
guys. Those look freaking awesome. It came out pretty good. All right, the harnesses are in. That thing looks, uh, it's looking pretty meaty over there. So we've got the wiring harness for the light bar whenever we do get the light bar. And then we've got all the brackets. The brackets are probably gonna be pretty easy. We can install those now. We know exactly what size bar we need. Like the adjuster or like the adapter. All right, so this is the inch and a quarter diameter with no adapters. It does have teeth in here to grip onto it. And we have the hardware right here. So our light bar that we're getting is gonna be a 12 inch light bar and it'll probably have like an inch brackets that will stick out even further. Our bar is about 18 inches wide. So we're gonna go ahead and measure in the middle of that 18 inches, 14 inches wide. And that's where these brackets are gonna sit, just like that. If we have to flip them over and use them that way, if the light bar sticks back too far, so be it. I would like, the goal is to try and keep it inside the cage. I think it'll look better if it's inside. These are pretty small brackets. I don't think it's gonna work like that. Maybe we'll just mount them on top, who cares? Or better move, I could mount them this way, the upside down like I wanted to, and then put the bar underneath. Since there's so much headroom inside of that cage, I could probably get away with it. So we're gonna mount it this way as is and see what happens. All right, those are about where I want them distance wise. Uh, it should be somewhere around 14 from end to end. Oh, it's 14 on the dot. It is so perfect. Look at that. So the 12 inch light bar should sit in between and then there's little brackets that come out. So I will try to keep these where they are. Uh, when the light bar comes in, I will just mount it. I'm gonna try and do the wiring right now. So we'll see how that is. It did come with instructions and everything you need for the wiring harness. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to test to see if it works. So I guess we're just gonna run everything that we know we need to run and find places to hide the wires. That's pretty much all of it. Feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power, don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you To actually do, but I wanted to make everything fit nice and tight. So we do have the button in there. Everything's toggled, ready to go. I ran all the wiring through here, right underneath there, along here, underneath the seat. Mounted the little fuse right here with enough slack for me to connect the wiring to the battery back here. Then from there we have the lights, so let's run up the sidebar here. Up through here without interfering with the harnesses, come on back here, go up through the cargo net, and then this is kind of where I have my slack left over for when we get the light bar to mount right here. If I do have excess of this, I'm gonna end up wrapping it up and putting it underneath one of the handles so you'll never even see it. You really can't see the wiring anywhere on this. It looks pretty low key. So I think I did a good job tucking it and making it look decent. That is gonna do it for the wiring. We got our new harnesses on there and the light bar mount. So those are actually perfectly spaced out where they should be. All I gotta do is wait for the, bar to, the light bar to come in and she's good to go outside of that. That's, I got an idea for this. I'm not gonna do all this work to this damn thing and not have it run. So I got a couple ideas for the spindles. Uh, I do have a donor spindle in mind, but yeah, this project, I think I have a tiny bit more invested in it than I thought I was going to, but it's coming up pretty freaking sweet. So now we gotta put some stickers on. All right guys, so I got one more sticker on the sponsor side. Now I know we're not sponsored by Sparco and I hope all you guys know that I'm not, even though I absolutely love their products. Everything that they make is super awesome. I'm wearing my headlight part night. I am. Sorry, I was just in the backyard and it's dark out. So I absolutely love their products and I love everything about them, but I, just figured this would look really good 
with another sponsor sticker on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and add these, even though we're not sponsored by them. Uh, it's the first one that I'm adding that we're not actually sponsored by. But. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to a beautiful heated garage, I got the third sticker on the side. Looks nice with the lineup over there. And then we've got the old saying, keep turning those gears right and back. I wanted a saying like that back here. I. Figured I wanted something that was associated with the channel since this is race car sponsored, kind of put whatever sticker I feel like on this car and kind of make it radical. So eventually I'll do more crazy stuff to this, but guys, that is concludes today's video. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the build on this. If you are, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed because this thing, we're gonna take it to a really cool park or at least because it's near the end of the season, we're gonna take it, you know, out and about. Maybe drift it in the snow, take it in the backyard or the backyard or something. We're gonna do something fun with it because it is such a cool toy to play with. We're gonna enjoy it. And then we got the stickers on this. We got a couple more things coming with this soon. So guys, hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Peace out. Keep turning those gears.